born Inigo Lopez de la Hoya in 1491, the man known as Ignatius of Loyola was the youngest of 13 children. Despite the misfortune of losing his mother at a young age, he was still a member of the local aristocracy and was raised accordingly. He became ambitious as a youth and wanted to be a great general. By the time he was 18, he had become a soldier. He began referring to himself as Ignatius, a more mature version of his name. He gained a reputation as a duelist. According to one story, he killed a Moor with whom he argued about the divinity of Christ. His skill in combat earned him promotions, and soon he commanded his own troops. In 1521, Ignatius was struck by a cannonball in the legs. To save his life, possibly his legs, doctors performed several surgeries. After suffering for a month, his doctors warned him to prepare for death. But instead of dying, Ignatius began to improve. During this time, Ignatius began to read about the lives of the saints and Christ. The stories had a profound impact on him. As he lay bedridden, Ignatius developed a desire to become a working servant of Christ. He especially wanted to convert non-Christians. In 1522, he gave his clothes away to a poor man and began a period of work, prayer, and contemplation. Following a short pilgrimage to the Holy Land, Ignatius realized he needed a complete education to convert people. He attended a grammar school for children to learn Latin and other basic subjects. He then traveled to various universities to learn more. Ignatius often engaged others in lengthy conversations about spiritual matters. The Inquisition accused Ignatius of preaching without any formal education in theology. He was questioned three times, but his heart was pure and he was always exonerated. Ignatius decided he needed more education. He was 38 years old when he entered the University of Paris. He earned a master's degree at the age of 44. While at school, Ignatius roomed with Peter Faber and Francis Xavier. The men became friends, and Ignatius led them in spiritual exercises. Other men soon joined their exercises and became followers of Ignatius. The group began to refer to themselves as Friends in the Lord. In 1539, the group went to Rome and presented themselves to the Pope. Pope Paul III approved them as an order in 1540. Ignatius became their first leader. He imposed a strict, almost military rule on his order. Despite the strict rules, the order grew. The order was responsible for much of the work of stopping the spread of the Protestant Reformation. Today, his order is known as the Society of Jesus, and it works in educating the youth around the world. Several universities have been founded in the name of Ignatius and in the traditional Jesuit spirit. Ignatius passed away on July 31, 1556 at the age of 64. He was beatified by Pope Paul V in 1609 and canonized in 1622 by Gregory XV. His feast day is celebrated on July 31st and he is the patron saint of the Society of Jesus, soldiers, and educators.